click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this topic I'm going to talk about the Fisher projection formula. We have discussed about the structural formula, we have discussed about the borderline formula. So this is what I'm going to talk about in this topic. So now let us understand what is the difference between this and the other. So friends here we are going to talk about the Fisher projection formula and we understand that is while we are giving the structural formula to a particular compound or to a particular molecular formula we always try to express the bonds that have been involved between the two atoms but in this case it is quite different compared to that of the other one. So in this case that is the tetrahedral carbon are basically represented with cross lines and there are two cross lines that is one is vertical and the other one is horizontal. So this intersection it represents the chiral carbon atom and that is in between. While talking about the other valency, so these are the valencies of that carbon atom and in that case we see the vertical line it expresses the chain of the carbon atom which is the longest one. So the horizontal line it represents the other valencies or the other groups that have been associated with this carbon atom. So in this case suppose if we talk about that is glyceraldehyde. So the glyceraldehyde has a structure that is CHO, H2OH, OH and here there is H. So the central carbon atom obviously we understand that is it is having different valencies and that's the reason it is basically a chiral carbon atom and that's the reason we are marking it with that is asterisk but here we don't have to mark it with asterisk because this is the carbon atom which is in fact we understand that is it is having a different valency so talking about the longest chain so here we can find that is there is a carbon atom over here there is a second carbon and there is third carbon so therefore this is the longest chain of the carbon atom and this vertical line this vertical line it represents the longest chain of carbon atom so talking about this carbon atom which is in fact an asymmetric carbon atom or we could also call it as a chiral carbon atom this plays a very vital role in giving the optical activity so this is what we have that is a structural of glyceraldehyde but in this case basically the OH is the one which is at the right hand side and that's the reason this kind of the glyceraldehyde is known as D glyceraldehyde in that case suppose if we draw this structure of that is the Fisher projection formula for the glyceraldehyde in this way that is where we can find that is the OH is on the left and the H is on the right and this CHO is at the top and this CH2OH is at the bottom so in that case this represents that is L glyceraldehyde. So talking about the other terms that is this vertical line or this vertical carbon atom and that is what you can see so this represents that is this carbon atoms are into the page while this horizontal carbon or this horizontal groups that is what you can see that are being present in this horizontal line so they are above the plane and in this case basically the carbon which is present at the topmost is the most oxidizable carbon atom and that is what I have represented over here so therefore this is nothing but a short description about the Fisher's projection formula and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video I hope I'll see you next time and then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much